and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is Tech Flow. Today we've got an awesome video for you inspired by a tweet from one of you guys. And that tweet reads, Can you make a vid on making Wi-Fi better? I get confused with all the boxes and wires. I need fast internet at my home, please. Introducing the Asus Lyra. Let's do this. Okay, so this is the Asus Lyra. Let's unbox it and see what's inside and make sense of all of this. So Asus are making things really simple with these three, what they're calling nodes. And you start with the one that says start on the back. This is gonna act as your standard Wi-Fi router. Now what you're gonna go ahead and do with this one is plug in the WAN port into one of these ethernet ports and then the other one is a LAN port for you then to connect a wired computer on your network or into a network switch to expand your wired network. And once this one is configured to your WAN and it has internet access, it's then gonna wirelessly share the internet connection to each two of these nodes, which are then gonna broadcast the same SSID or network as this one, creating one whole blanket of a Wi-Fi network around your home and garden. But you're probably thinking, Alex, isn't that pretty much the same as just using your standard Wi-Fi router in your house and then connecting a wireless extender, repeater? And no, it's not. Wireless extenders and repeaters half the bandwidth because of the way that they're configured and the way they're set up. With this, this is called a tri-band system. It uses one of those bands in the tri-band, the three bands that it has, to communicate between the first node and the other two nodes, and then the other two bands left over are to connect the nodes to your phone. No bandwidth or throughput is lost, i.e. like it would be with a wireless repeater setup. This is gonna have your full internet throughput and speed at each of these Wi-Fi nodes. But does it actually perform? Let's get into it. So, let's get a basis down here. We'll start you guys off with a graph up there. Bang, there you go. One, two, three. We're gonna do speed tests in three locations with our old router and then with the Asus Lyra mess system. This is the first speed test, right in the main room where the router is. As you can see, 16 ping, 53.39 down, 8.23 upload. Let's move to our second location, follow me. So here we've arrived in our second location. Let's test again. As you can see, it's not looking good for the conventional wireless router, 18 ping, 0.75, oh no, 18 ping, 0.78 down, 0.08 up. Let's move to the third location. Third location, test again, test failed, nothing, nada, game over. So let's download and install the Asus Lyra app. Once that's finished, we're gonna disconnect and throw out our old router. Right, so once we've gone ahead and downloaded the app and plugged in our first Lyra point to our Ethernet, to our WAN, and plugged in the power, we'll go ahead and launch the app and see how easy this is. This is the first time I'm doing this. So now it's currently configuring my WAN connection all by itself, something that's usually really difficult through a web interface with a standard off-the-shelf router from the shop. It's done it already, now it's asking me to configure the name SSID, the Wi-Fi name for my network, and also give it a password. For the sake of this video guys, I'm gonna call it Tech Flow and give it a password of one through eight. So as you can see, I'm connected to our new network Tech Flow and the app is telling me that Lyra is set up. It's saying, do you want to add another Lyra to your network? Yes, we've got two more to add. Let's move to the next location and add Lyra. So as you can see, the Lyras, the actual points themselves, look really, 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 really sleek and they really much, they fit in with any home decor, which is what I absolutely love about them. And I also love this about the app. As you can see here, it says connection level, good. Now this has been changing between great and good whilst I've been in this room. The main point is upstairs, and obviously the main point upstairs has to wirelessly connect to this one. So this is an indication of whether we are in a good or great place to place one of our mesh points. <laughs> There we go guys, Lyra is set up. Do you want to do another one? Yes, we've got one more to do. Good job, Lyra. 
And the third node set up just as easy as the other two. Now in this office, we have three nodes set up. So now the next thing is most routers you have to configure with a web UI or you have to go, it's like 192.168. something into your web browser and it's all a bit complicated. As you've seen, we've set this thing up so far in the app. But it's not just a setup that stops there. As well in the app, you get a lot of useful features that make this really, really simple for anybody to set up and maintain. Let me just show you a few of them. So as you can see up here, we have TechFlows Network. We have the internet, then we have the main mesh point. I've named this mesh point over here Living Room. This is where the internet goes into. And as you can see here, wirelessly, this spurs off to the kitchen mesh and the bedroom mesh. Each node, we have three in the network. Scrolling down on the list gives you, well, some little useful tips. It's saying my admin password is weak, so it's telling me to change it. It's saying my Wi-Fi password is weak, telling me to change it. You can set up things like family members. And that is pretty much limiting certain people in the family. So like limiting the kids to certain content, so content blocks. Limit devices from accessing the internet or adult content. As well as this, the whole system has built-in AI protection, which keeps your network up to date with the latest security. As you can see, the security was last updated 14 minutes ago. The network is secure. Just below that, we have the real-time traffic. Right, let's see. Let's see if the range and the speed is good. Now that is squeezing every last drop out of our internet connection into the office. We get about 74 megabits in and eight megabits up. As you can see here, 17 ping, 74.16 down and 8.24 up. So as you guys can see, 18 ping, 66.34 down and 8.35 up in the second location. I think with our previous router, we were only getting something like a couple of meg in here, if that. Right, third location. So third location, we got absolutely nothing here before with the previous router. As I've mentioned, we're in an old office building, massive... Wow. Ha! <laughs> 19 ping, 49.42 down, 8.35 up. It speaks for itself, doesn't it? And here comes the conclusion. It has the range and it has the throughput. This thing is going to cover your house tenfold. It's stylish, easy to set up, and easy to maintain, with family features and AI protection. This is by far one of the most simple and easy to use and easy to set up Wi-Fi mesh systems I've come across to date. Pricing availability will be down there below for you guys. I hope this video has been informative. We'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. Hey, yeah.